Baby, be in love with your fantasies I can be a star, make a sky so bright Welcome to my dungeon, this is ecstasy Let me play the fantasy Okay. What you got? What you got? I have some interesting, basically, did you know type of facts. Okay. Did you know that according to Albert Einstein, mm-hmm. if honeybees were to disappear from the earth, humans would be dead within four years? I know that it'll be catastrophic, but I didn't think four years. But I do know that it would be catastrophic. I feel like I didn't. I just kind of learned about, like, I was... I was watching Shark Tank one day Mm -hmm. and they were talking about like the need of like bees and honeybees and stuff like that. Actually, in that little movie, the bee bee bee. movie. Yeah. (laughs) It's pretty much kind of like telling you. It's really real. Yeah. Like it's really talking about some real stuff. And it's really like serious as far as like the earth ecosystem. And what bees do for the for the world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Agree. So, yeah, I I wouldn't say just just because I watched that movie long, long, long time ago. Yeah. But But, I wouldn't have thought four years, though. But that that's probably pretty accurate. Yeah. Everything probably will go downhill. Scary to think about as much as I be trying to get rid of their ass on side of the house. You sure do. You (laughs) you are one scared. You are one scary. I be trying to get rid of some bees bees or some wasps. Yeah. I'm not going to play with them. I'm not going to play with them. There are so many kinds of apples that if you ate a new one every day, it would take over 20 years to try them all. Every single apple? <laughs> you you got to be kidding me. 20 There's so years? many kinds of apples. I never knew that. Yeah. I, I pretty much, I just eat the green ones. I, or the red ones. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know about nothing else in between. Did y'all know that? Okay. I, didn't, I didn't know that. Whatever it looked like, I don't know. If it don't look like that, I don't, I'm not eating that. That's a smart fact. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you can survive without eating for weeks, but you will only live 11 days without sleeping. Wow. I got I, I pretty much got half of that before. Like staying up? Yeah. I probably I, I've got like maybe like half of that, like 5 days I can with see no that. sleep. Like if you you have no 11 sleep. 11 days. Think about like how out of it you would be. How gone. We remember we watched that video uh, about like the Russian experiment where yeah. they was keeping people up and making making them stay awake. Yeah, and and they it, yeah. I don't know if that was true though. I don't know. I don't know. I if thought it, I, it might I don't be know how true, true that story is. I was reading more into that, and then some people were saying that's just like a a myth, like a, a story. Okay, like a myth I thought the, I thought the Russian experiment was an experiment. I of did like too. Watching people. You know, be deprived of sleep. I've seen several stories about it, but then I see a mixed amount of people's input, and they're like, Mm-mm, that's "Maybe not, they that exaggerated in the video. Maybe that's what it is." Yeah, yeah, they actually like what really happened because mm-hmm. at the end they end up eating each other. That's what I'm saying, eating each other's face off like they zombies, yeah, like, mm-hmm. like from The Walking Dead or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. A human brain has a capacity to store five times as much information as Wikipedia. Wow. You know, Wikipedia Wikipedia could be pretty dumb these days. So I could believe that. Wikipedia has a lot of information, but if you think like how much you'd have to study to to be able to do something like that. Mm -hmm. But you said six times. Yeah, because that's why people say, you know, they're all about, you know, there's so much to learn. There's you can never stop learning. I guess maybe that's true. I think that we still I feel like I would get tired of learning shit. I mean, how much? <laughs> <laughs> but you do remember when we watched The Matrix, you know, our, our brains are pretty much batteries. We, we battery operated. Mm. Yeah, true that. Uh, talk about that. Our brain uses the same amount of power as a 10 watt light bulb. I said that. Though. Damn. Did no. I say that before? Uh yeah I think you did okay but it is true though yeah that's well that's you fact. you said that but that's why I'm like a yeah ten watt light bulb <laughs> ten bu- yeah ten watt light bulb um, our body gives enough heat in thirty minutes to boil one and a half liters of water no it does not <laughs> I'm not where'd you get that from Wikipedia <laughs> you had to have gotten some of this stuff from Wikipedia seventy five most amazing facts it's called Mind Journal <laughs> to boil water yeah. You really feel like you get that hot? I don't know. Yes, you feel like that in the damn nighttime. I'm telling you, you feel like an oven, a roasted like oven. No, oven. But to boil water? Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. That's that's really hot, actually. For like your body temperature to be that. Sheesh. Yeah. Yeah, that's, okay. Again, 
super, super interesting facts. Yeah. Stuff that you don't think of like on, on a regular day basis, but <laughs> these are like actual <laughs> true things. Okay, here's one. Food for thought. Okay. Potato chips cause more weight gain than any other food. Oh, shit. I could believe that. I could believe that. I can believe that, too. Especially, you know, and that's so crazy because you know how they got them vending machines at work. <laughs> and they be piling them up with your favorite chips. And you and you go all day long. Mm-hmm. Put your little 75 cent in there or a dollar, whatever it is now. A dollar 25. Right. Hell, I mean, they keep going up. And probably because potato is a starch one. Yes. And then I have so many, like, unsaturated fats, fats and stuff like oh, that, too. Man. So that's probably, you, you're probably right about that. I never thought about 100% that. 100% correct. Yeah. Yeah. Last one. <laughs> it's impossible to hum while you hold your nose. Of course you try it. They kind of got a little hum a little bit, but not, you talking about hum. Yeah, now hold your nose. <laughs> if, you, if, you, if, you, if you keep doing it, you, you actually cut off your air supply and you won't do anything. Okay. Maybe it'll start coming. The air starts coming out of your, your ears. I don't know. Or it might start coming out of the little pores in your eyes. My I, I don't know. Y'all know I sat here and tried to do it. That's why I had to tell y'all. <laughs> I just didn't do it on camera. It's true. It's like you'll start <laughs> humming, and as you put your hands on your nose, you'll completely stop it all. It'll, it'll just stop humming. Yeah. yeah. Hey, but hey, I wouldn't try it at home. I wouldn't try that. <laughs> and I wouldn't do it longer than 30 seconds either. Right. Don't do that. No. Just say it. No longer than 30 seconds. Okay. Those those are, you know, quirky thoughts of the day. Did you know? Facts. And they're just fun facts, y'all. I don't really I don't really check all these facts, but I do get them out of <laughs> mind journal. Because sometimes, like, some of the stuff I see what y'all say in the comment section, like, no, that's not the smallest organ. That's not the... And I'm like, well, oh, shit, that's what they said. That's what they said. It was something else, too. I can't remember what it was. It was like, no. No, something about the nurdle. I got the nerdle the thing nerdle. wrong. I think I was, yeah, I miss. I think I misinterpreted myself. What shit, it actually was. For what, yeah, what it really was. No, but shout out to everybody for like, really like staying on their game and keeping us on our game too. Yeah, y'all, y'all, dang. This I was a, like. Y'all some smart shoot, ass people y'all too. Y'all smart, okay? <laughs> they got me. What I got for you guys today, uh, some very, very important facts, very important historic milestones. Today, January the 10th, 1946, uh, radar signals bouncing off the moon were detected for the first time. Radar signals? Radar signals Who, in 1946. Who's, who's radar? I don't know. Mm. Okay. You think it might have been UFO? Radar signals or something? <laughs> you are a conspiracy <laughs> theorist. You always ask me stuff like that. <laughs> don't don't be having me up here looking crazy. I I don't know. You are the low key conspiracy theorist. So. Somebody was out there. Okay, just know. Yeah, but it bounced. We off are the, not alone. It bounced off the moon and they detected it. Well, you the one, y'all. BJ the one that be talking about aliens don't exist. I'm just saying. <laughs> hey man, you got to show me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Let me visit. I don't need you to show me, let me to visit. believe it. No, hell no. Let hell, me, I definitely me, don't want to visit. Let me get clearance to Area 51 uh-uh. in Roswell, New Mexico. You'll never come back. And I need to see for my own. <laughs> I need to see for myself. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> You'll never come back. All right. This is interesting, too, as well. Uh, January the 10th, 1999, uh, same year I graduated high school, the first episode of The Sopranos aired on HBO. And the dramatic series with star James Galdafini and Eddie Falco was later widely hailed as a classic. Wow. January the 10th, 1999. 1999. Sopranos aired on HBO. Can you believe that? But I can't believe that that, that show's been on as long as it has. I know. and That I, was a badass show, though. Yes, that's what I'm saying. And I used to tell you that, too, that on HBO, it would always be on, but I never paid attention to it. But I remember I never being that young, it. knowing that it would be on. Yeah. Well, I just goes to show I'm I'm kind of I've we been young as hell. rock yeah because <laughs> I don't I don't even remember like I don't think I ever even heard of Sopranos until they told us about Sopranos mm-hmm. and then for it to have been on HBO and I'm like okay well that explains it I didn't have HBO all right and then also last but not least January the tenth two thousand and sixteen British singer songwriter and actor David Bowie see I always see I, I got it you right got it. <laughs> who transformed himself from a traditional pop crooner into a trendsetting international superstar, best known for his metaphoric persona 
abrupt shifts in musical genres, status as a fashion icon, died in New York City. How did he die? January the 10th, 2016. That wasn't long ago. No, it was not. Wow. Seven, eight years. Okay, that that's one of those, like, his name would have popped up and I would have not had a clue who he was. 2016, I don't know. I, I can't think back that far. Yeah. If I if I ever saw or heard of the headline yeah. that David, David Bowie passed away. Yeah. But, yeah, that wasn't that long ago. Well, been there we've reacted to his music, y'all. Like, I don't know. Sometimes A lot I, of his hits. Yeah. And you listen to stuff like that and it's kind of like, man... How the audacity right. to come so after the fact. Like, how dare you be this late to right. my music? And, and, and just now discovering after he passed away. Because yeah. we probably didn't listen to uh, a David Bowie track probably until 2020. <laughs> like a year and a half ago. Yeah, like two years ago. Yeah, for the first time. Mm-hmm. Like ever. Anything. And, he, and, and even then when we were listening to the music, a lot of people were saying that he like he moved around in musical genres a lot. Yeah. As far as always doing something different and surprising fans. Crazy talented, though. Crazy talented. Okay. Very, 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 very unique, too. So January 10th, that happened. 2016. Mm. Yes. Okay.